Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is uh, day 36 here on planet 26. Well, as you can see, I'm still here on the platform, and after some uh, conversations with uh, one of the subscribers, this is to you, Fred, uh, and I wasn't necessarily thrilled with my spotlights the way I had them set up anyway, so I put some more thought into how I want to do this platform, and I uh, found another another mod that I think uh, uh, really kind of helps out the spotlights, and uh, how I want to do uh, a uh, ladder going up the side here for an exit. And then uh, I figured out uh, what I want to do for my uh, uh, exit off of here, stairs or ramps coming down off of here. So first things first is I need to take out these spotlights up here. So let me get started on that. Let me plop down a couple of, so I can get up there and reach them, some scaffolding here. Uh, about right there, I think that work yeah that should work come out farther and a ramp and let's uh, cop up here all right let's see if we can start reaching some of these guys Ah, uh, one more. Ah, oop. Yeah, that's a bad thing to do. Good thing it was us just off the scaffolding here. All right. All right. Ah, uh, here we go. All right. Now we should be able to reach these guys. Let's uh, take these out. Get that out of there. And... Oh, I should have built this out further, but that's easy enough to do. Uh, we should just be able to run this scaffolding right along through here. So, as I once I get these lights out and I start progressing along, you're going to kind of see what I got in mind uh, when I start putting up the new, uh, new spotlights with the new mod and that sort of thing. So, uh, I'll be back with you here in a little bit.
okay. Well, here I got one of my spotlights in over here. And you can see that uh, uh, the mod that I put in is Rebels Lights. And I'm going to do a uh, video on it on my mod Wednesday. But uh, you can see how it uh, pretty much perfectly uh, shines down right here on this uh, uh, bay. And so I've also added wiring in or pipes to make it look like it's got uh, electricity coming up to it. And so, and I'm not, I'm purposely not going to finish these because I'm using these as the stand or the support for it. So I think that looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm working on. Uh, I'm going to be putting another uh, spotlight in right here, which will go right up, uh, right up there, which I think. Uh, I'm trying to remember because I did all of this over in uh, uh, my test environment to see what uh, would work and what wouldn't work and so I got to add one right there and then I'm going to do the same thing like I did down there on that end right here so I'll put in a uh, uh, a stand with the light on it. Oh, I thought I took that out. Oh, I know, I was full. Uh, so I will take and do the same thing here and add wires. And so, yeah, that's uh, what I'm working on. So when I get a little farther along, I will uh, catch back up with you. Okay, I got my second uh, spotlight in and again it's shining right down onto the bay here uh, landing port so that uh, as uh, ships are coming in they can turn this spotlight on and off and I'll uh, do that uh, I'll set up the control uh, tower here in just a little bit uh, actually the uh, technician system over there and so, uh, yeah. So I also laid down numbers. So this is bay number one. And this is bay number two. Uh, that way, as the pilots are coming in, uh, they'll be able to see uh, the bays, or they'll be able to see those numbers from the air. And this one is bay number three. So uh, I've got those uh, placed down as well. So let me get the third spotlight in. This one's a little more trickier. Uh, and uh, so let me get started on it. But uh, over in the test region, it still looked pretty good. So let me uh, get started on it. And I'll give you an update once I get it uh, finished up.
Okay, I've got the third and final spotlight in. Uh, I've got the wiring in that's coming up. And uh, I probably could have come straight up instead of putting that jog in there. But, you know, it's kind of following along that angle up through there. I didn't have angle power lines. So, uh, and that's just a mod. This is just uh, uh, power lines that uh, was created. So, uh, they look pretty nice. So, they're high voltage lines that uh, are coming in. So, it gives the illusion of power coming up to the lights, which is good. All right. Uh, let's see. So, that's that. And you can kind of see that the spotlight is, from this angle, is hitting that third bay right down there. So, uh, the angle actually worked out just perfect with these lights on the way these bays are set up. So the next step is, and I didn't want to tear all my scaffolding down. So actually, let me go to the inside. So well, those are the spotlights, they're in, they all have power running up to them. And I think they look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with those now. A lot better than what I had with the other spotlights because they were just kind of shooting off out into nowhere. So the next step is uh, I need to, and I've got a mod uh, that uh, I think will work pretty well up there in the floor. Uh, I could run a ladder shaft up through, but I think what I'm going to do is run a ladder from the outside. So when I get up and in there and I get this going, uh, I will uh, catch back up with you here in a little bit. Okay, I have my ladder in, and I think I can go ahead and start taking my scaffolding out. Let me get this all out of here. And we can kind of see how this all kind of looks without scaffolding in here. That's easier than jumping. Okay, so we can see that I got the uh, spotlights all in and they are shining down on each of their bays. And then if we go over here, I put a ladder in. So if for some reason the power goes out and I've got guys trapped up here in the observation tower they still have a way of getting out so we'll crawl up here and see it comes out right by the server and so I put rails up and around and so uh, I think that uh, that looks pretty good and I didn't really have to change much of anything I took a block out here in the floor and I don't think that that really detracts from anything up here in the observation tower so I'm pretty good with with being able to put that in right there and 
with the rails it uh, really helps as far as a service hazard uh, the only problem is as long as this guy working here at the server doesn't step backwards he's okay so let's uh, call the elevator and there we go and we'll go back down to the second floor all right so that's the spotlights and that's that uh, escape route for the guys in the observation tower I think the next thing I want to do is uh, I think I need to add my stairs and that is going to be over here so I'm going to have to make some adjustments ah, wrong ones open here let's open that one there we go uh, which the stairs are going to come in right here so I need I know I need to take this out and I've got to sit there and plan what's going to happen is well let me go down one more floor because I can point better from down there and I'll kind of give you an idea of what uh, is going to happen here So these stairs are going to, stairs and catwalk is going to come down and actually I did that wrong. I should have come over here. Uh, I think, so the stairs is going to come working its way down and then it's going to come down and it's going to wrap around this uh, hole here. And then the stairs are going to come out right right down here and that way they have an exit off of there and the gives them the ability to uh get down off of that platform in case of a power failure so let me get started on this and uh we'll uh, get this uh, put in and then i'll give you an update as i get this uh get moving along here Okay, I think I got my uh, stairs, my exit route here. I'm just uh, finishing it up. Let me uh, just start welding this going down. And get a look at it. I gotta get some more parts though. Not quite done. All right, so let's grab that, grab that. Uh, come 
want to do it like this then. Two of those. And we're not going to do anything to the scaffolding. Grab our parts. Got everything. There we go. That's welded. There we go. There we go. All right. So we have an exit route down and off the roof now. Oh, I missed a spot here. There's something I got to... One more thing I got to add. Uh, let's go... Let's do that right now before I forget. Uh, try to catch all the little details. But I'm going to have to do that from down below, I believe. Hopefully I can reach it. Need to put support under there. Oh, I need a girder. Are you kidding me? All right, let's go grab a girder. And then we can plop that in. Ah, uh, girders. Let's grab about uh, ten of well, ninety-one of them, I guess, for now. I only needed one because I'm not going to finish these. I like these unfinished. Okay, there we go. There. So that's got support. I would have liked to have put some more support in here. But it just looks, I don't know, plop one in there. I might take, yeah, that does, doesn't look too awful bad. And then I did put one in on this side. Although, you know what? I What if I turn this? What if I turn this one here? Like I did the other one. And... There we go. Yeah, that looks like that's got support. And this side has support built out from the other scaffolding Energy in low. underneath. And maybe that one underneath should have been a full block. So, yeah, let's let's do it like this then. Let's see how this looks kind of tell I'm flying by the seat of my pants here. Come on, get that. Oh, that did get the inside block. Cool. Alright. So now, let's put a full block in under there. Uh, full block right under there. And then we can come back to this support block here and put that in. So that gives us a look of support. It's got that inside supported. And I'm going to leave this block right here. I'm not sure exactly how that, you know, but I think it looks okay. Uh, and so that gives that support. That gives this some support. These, these are basically angling down so that it, uh, uh, I think it's kind of getting support from itself. I don't, wish I had a bit more of an angle type that I could put in there, but I just don't on these angle blocks like that. And they don't come in, and they don't, are not up tight to the uh, voxel itself on the stairways. But if we walk back up here, We can see that we've got a really nice exit, and I got to plop down uh, another set of storage. Let's see if I got stuff to do that with. Uh, three, nine, and uh, that I'm missing the motor on freight. Yeah, I should have stuff that I want. Let's see where one is it that one right there I need to change the color I want to go to green and then we can plop that one in right there build it out 
There we go. I had to move that one, so that gives us that uh, block right there. Okay. Well, there is the... Uh, lights, the spotlights, the exit routes, and exit route there. So I got a few more things to do here. And so let me uh, get charged up and let me get a few more things done. And then I think we ought to be getting close to wrapping this video up for uh, this week. So, uh, which was much better improvements on the landing bank. So I'll be back with you here in just a little bit. Okay, well, I think it's about time to wrap this video up, and I'm I'm pretty happy with the way the uh, landing uh, pad and all of that is right now. There might be a few odds and ends that I might add. Uh, I might add a few more of those power lines around the base just to, to show power, but it's always been kind of uh, implied that the power runs up through the blocks. But, uh, so let's, what I finished up with, as you can see, there's a floodlight, a small floodlight right there that is now spotlighted on this area right here. And so it's shining down on the uh, grinder ship and it gives some light out in here. So that's that. Let's go back over here. And we got the stairs in. I could add more of those floodlights in some other spots around here. But, uh, it, uh, uh, but yeah, I, I might, I might just do that. Add some more floods in around there. Just a second here. I'm helping my co-pilot out a little bit. Raising the shade for her. Uh, so there is, uh, the stairs that we put in. That exit is in and out of there. We can, so we can walk up here now. We don't have to take the elevator, so if the power is out, then we've got a way of getting up and down. Uh, we added three floodlights along with power to them, and so uh, that uh, and they're shining down onto each of the bays. I put numbers on so you can see which bay you're at coming in from the air. Uh, so I think those look pretty good. I'm pretty pretty happy with those. And then uh, we put a ladder in over here so that we have an escape route from uh, up above uh, just in case, again, when the power goes out. Um, we have a way of getting down out of the observation tower without being stuck up here. And uh, so I think that looks pretty good. Here's a view from the observation tower up here. 
and you can see those uh, floodlights are uh, shining just nicely on each of the bays uh, that uh, they were in. And you can kind of you can see the numbers. So one, two, three. Of course, that's kind of backwards from up here looking down because I placed them from the other direction because the assumption is most of the pilots would be flying in from that other direction anyway. So let's, let's call our elevator. Uh, I think I got one more thing to show you all. Down we go. And I did this on both of the uh, uh, technician's sheds here. Uh, we hop in the old seat here. And as you can see, down below on the uh, bar, uh, I can turn the turn all the spotlights off. Oop, that was the turn all the spotlights off. If you look and see out over there, uh, or I can just turn one on, or I can turn that one on, and I can turn that one on. So they're all individually controlled, or they're controlled with uh, just that one right there. So, now I think we can consider this somewhat done. There, again, there might be a few odds and ends I might uh, put in up here uh, to uh, just a little more decoration, stuff like that. But I think for the most part, uh, this is pretty much done. You know, I could, could add another floodlight right here that will maybe light this area down and in here somewhat uh, when uh, the main spotlights are off, stuff like that. All right. Well, let me uh, kind of get back over here. Uh, this might even be a good screenshot from here. All right. Well, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And uh, please subscribe. That really will help the channel out. And ring that bell. Uh, it will uh, uh, remind you when I am uploading new videos, and I'm doing that pretty much on a weekly basis. All right, all you space engineers out there, keep your heads low, keep building away, and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.